Hey Water Signs, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys your weekly reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you guys this week. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, guys, as you all know, these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Also, guys, you can find your time steps for each individual sign in the description box below as well, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with your overall message for the week. And then we'll move on into the tarot. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the message here for my Pisces? We're going to start with Pisces first. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs Pisces. Hope. There is hope in a situation that you felt that in the past probably was done and over with, with um, the fer fertility card here. So I feel that you have some sense of hope here that something is going to come back around. There's going to be a situation that's going to come back into fruition is what I'm hearing. So let's go ahead and see. All righty, universe. What are the messages here for Pisces? Messages for Pisces. Oh, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. Oop, and the King of Wands. Alrighty, guys. So what I'm getting here is that, Pisces, you may have been dealing with somebody in the past who was very unstable. Who you felt that was bringing too many burdens to your connection. So for some of you guys, you decided to disconnect from this person. You decided to walk away because you didn't see any growth. Okay, you didn't see any growth whatsoever. But now all of a sudden with this king of wands with some passionate communication, there's hope in a situation again. I feel that there's somebody here from the past that's getting ready to come back around. And you're going to feel like this little light of hope, this little ray of hope coming through here. Yep, somebody that walked away from you, somebody that emotionally disconnected in the past is getting ready to make, I just heard a grand entrance. Sorry about that. Ooh, the Empress here. So you were in a higher level commitment here with somebody, Pisces, okay? Well, here you go, the Ace of Pentacles. This person's coming to, they're coming in to bring in some stable offers here. They want an opportunity at a new beginning here with you, a stable new beginning now. With the Page of, with the page of Cups here, this person's coming in with emotional communication, possibly an apology. And with the Queen of Swords, they're trying to speak a truth. I feel that this person is going to come in here, Pisces, and they want to tell you why they walked away in the past. What prompted this person to walk away in the past? And this is going to be like a shocker to you because for a lot of you guys, you felt that this connection was done and over with. Like there was no coming back to it. Okay. With this tower moment here, um, this separation needed to happen. It was divinely guided. So things that didn't serve this connection could be cleared out and removed from this from the situation. With the Ace of Swords here, Pisces, someone's coming in here with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. With the Five of Wands here, I felt that in the past, you guys may have been have always fighting for this person's attention. They could have been a little bit abusive with you. Um, not necessarily physically, but probably emotionally or mentally and now this person's wanting to come back and fight for this connection what else universe with the eight of swords pisces i feel that you have already gotten yourself out of this um mentality where you were tired of being mentally trapped in this situation okay you were isolated you felt like you were stuck you felt like you were in prison and look at the chariot at the bottom of the deck someone is definitely wanting to come towards you now that you have finally kind of gotten this person out of your system here they come again why because this person can fear you energetically no longer thinking about them 
Okay, you no longer wonder what they're up to or who they're with or who they're talking to. Like, you really don't even care anymore. With the Ten of Swords here, this is the ending to a situation that was very painful in the past. This separation was probably very painful for you, Pisces, when you decided to walk away from this person. But that is done. That is done and over with. Holy crap. Look at what flipped over. The Ace of Cups. This person is coming in here with truth. They're coming in here with stability. And they're coming in here with offers of love, Pisces. Someone from the past is trying to rekindle the situation with you. And they're going to come towards you. Okay? All right, Pisces. I hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Scorpio, it's your turn, guys. Let's see what is coming towards my Scorpios this week. What is the overall energy for Scorpio this week, universe? Archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians. What's the messages here for Scorpio? Hope. Pisces just got this. There is hope in a situation. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel here, Scorpio. What else? And base chakra. Hmm. There is some stability. There is some security. You're finally finding. For some of you guys, you felt that things around you were very unstable. You there was you had a situation where you felt like there was no stability, no security. But I think that's getting ready to change for you, Scorpio. There's a situation here that's getting, I just heard is getting revived. There's something that's getting revived, something that's coming back around here. And it's coming in more stable than ever. Eight of Swords, Pisces got the same thing. Eight of Swords, Pisces, I feel that you might have disconnected from a connection here. And now that you're Pisces, I mean Scorpio, you might have disconnected from a connection here where you felt like you were trapped. You felt like you were dealing with so much, so much anxiety, so much grief. And as you disconnected from the situation... And you started healing yourself and you started working on yourself. You started balancing everything out for you. Um, and you started having hope. I feel that someone is coming back around. This person feels that energetically you no longer think about them. The, the devil in the reverse. Someone is coming in here to recover a situation with you. Let's see here. Wow, eight of coins in the reverse. Somebody's coming back to rebuild this connection. Knight of cups. Someone's coming in with emotional communication. Apologies. Let's see here. Ten of swords. Wow, your reading is very similar to Pisces. If you guys are dealing with a Pisces, you might want to click on, the, on their timestamp. But there is an ending to a rough situation here for you, Scorpio. Okay? There was something that really hurt you in the past. Someone that really hurt you in the past. And that has come to an end because you have your... Hold on. You have decided to disconnect from a person. And I feel that this person... As you guys have been going through your days and doing your thing and you've been healing and healing, this person started noticing, shit, Scorpio hasn't even liked one of my posts or Scorpio hasn't even reached out to say hello. Like, what's going on with, Spor with Scorpio? Now they're wondering what's going on with you. So guess what they start doing? They're spying on you. Okay, they're trying to figure you out. They're trying to find out if you've moved on, if you have another relationship, if you're talking to somebody else. Now this person is, look, it's, this person is missing you. They're thinking about you. They're wondering if you are with anyone else, like I said. Um, they're scared that they're missing an opportunity here with you. With the page of cups here, they come, with the page of cups here, they come with some apologies. This person's coming in here with apologies. This person in the past was very, very, very deceptive, okay? This person could have put you in third-party situations. Um, they could have betrayed you. They were very... Um, they could have been stealing from you, not, not financially or physically, but emotionally, like, stealing your energy, fucking with your just your thoughts, like, playing a lot of emotional games with you. But here they come. They want to balance out a situation with you. They want to heal something here with you, okay? They want harmony. They want reconciliation is what I'm hearing. Someone is coming back because they're going to try to heal this connection with you in hopes of being able to reconcile. Didn't I say someone's coming back? Look, it's Six of Cups. Someone from the past is getting ready to come back towards you, Pisces. Why do I keep on saying Pisces? Scorpio, you may be dealing with a Pisces. 
Look it. King of Wands, same energy Pisces got, okay? So you guys are definitely dealing with a Pisces, all right? This person is coming in here very passionately, okay? In the past, this person wasn't moving towards you at all. Now, all of a sudden, that they put some gas in that ass and they're moving that horse. They're coming towards you and they're coming in here with a stable offer. I feel for a lot of you guys, this person's going to come in here trying to be your friend at first, trying to see what you're up to, trying to connect with you. Look at with the hermit, trying to see what you've really been doing. If you've been seeing other people, like what have you been doing this whole time that we haven't been communicating, Scorpio? What's going on with you is what that person's going to want to try to figure out, okay? But I think slowly but surely, the person that you broke up with is going to want to have reconciliation here with you. This person sees you as their soulmate. They want to reconcile with you, but I think they're coming in here um, with a plan. A plan of, okay, I'm going to win Scorpio first. I'm going to ask Scorpio to be my friend, to trust me again, to allow me to be part of his or her world. And slowly but surely, I'm going to tell Scorpio that I want to reconcile with them. That's this person's plan. Look it. Reconciliation and the Wheel of Fortune. Scorpio, somebody's coming in here with a plan like I told you. Okay? This person is planning to be victorious in this situation. They're planning to get you back. Okay, this person is not playing games. They're just being very meticulous at the process. Okay, they're planning their situation now. They know that they have to come towards Scorpio a certain way because Scorpio is not going to be having them coming in here with nonsense and they're going to try to win you over. Okay, in the past, this person made a lot of foolish decisions. They jumped the gun too quick. They started talking to other people. They, they just made a lot of stupid decisions. May even started posting things on social media. And now they regret that. They regret being a fool. What else, universe? Look it. The Hierophant, okay? You were in a higher level commitment with this person. You may have even been married to this person or living with this person. But because this person took the wrong action, because this person took the wrong decision, they made the wrong decision, well, guess what? They lost you. And now they're trying to come back in here with this Three of Cups, this Six of Cups, and this Wheel of Fortune. And they're planning. They're planning. I'm going to be your friend first. I want to see what you've been up to. And I want to see if you still have the same feelings for me. And then I'm going to drop the bomb. Can we reconcile? I'm still in love with you. I want to be with you. That is your person's plan, Scorpio. All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification button if you want to book a personal reading. The information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Cancer. Your turn. Let's see what's going on with you guys. What is your week? weekly message we're going to tap into this energy and see what is coming towards my cancers this week what is the overall message for cancer here universe overall message one more please there we go first card that flipped out look it went from seven to six stand your ground and victory and success cancer you're standing your ground. There's somebody that's trying to come in here and have some type of victory, some success with you, but you're standing your ground. You may not be allowing anyone back into your life ever again. This definitely has to do with you standing your ground. You know right from wrong. You know what you want. You know that this person can bring what you want to the table, and you're standing your ground, but somebody is wanting to forcefully have some victory and success here with you, Cancer. Somebody that walked away from you. Somebody that literally physically disconnected from you, someone that you may have lived with, is coming back around. What else for cancer? This person's energy in the past was very scattered, okay? This person did not know what they wanted to do in the past. They didn't. They caused you a lot of sadness. They caused you, they caused you a lot of depression. Shit, they caused you a lot of grief. You were stuck in your head because of this person for a very, very long time. But now that this person is trying to reach out, now that this person is trying to at least be your friend, trying to connect with you, trying to see what you're up to, you're standing your ground and you're not, you don't want to communicate, cancer. You're done. Now they want to be victorious. Now they want to be successful in this connection. But you, you're done. Eight of Swords here. You're done dealing with the crap. You're done being stuck in your head. You're done dealing with people that cause you grief and anxiety. Now you're looking at things differently. You've released this person. You have new hope. You've removed yourself from the situation. And you want freedom. For some of you guys, you don't want to go back to this person for any apparent reason. You're done with them. Three of Swords, this person broke your heart. They may have put you in a third-party situation. You know, I've, I, I'm just hearing, 
once a cheater always a cheater okay so if this person cheated on you once that's it look it as i said that five of swords this person was very deceptive they put you in a third party situation the second that person screwed screwed you over the second you found out that this person had you in a third party situation you cut them out like a bad habit you weren't having it anymore you were done you didn't want to deal with this person. You don't want to deal with anything that they had to bring to the table. You were completely 100% done. And now you're in this Ten of Cups energy where you're happy. You may have already started a new relationship with somebody. But here comes someone. They're still trying to have victory with you. They're still trying to come towards you with the moon in the reverse. They're trying to talk to you. They're trying to explain themselves to you. But you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. For some of you guys, you you will you refuse to be stuck in a situation like this ever again. You refuse to allow anyone to have any control over you. You refuse to allow anyone to put you in that situation ever again. This is why you are standing your ground and you're not allowing them back in your life for any apparent reason. You don't care if this person could be a billionaire now. You are done with it. Four swords, you have cut them out. You don't want to deal with this anymore. You're good in the place that you are right now with your ten of cups, with your new partner. And you want victory and success but you want it in your current relationship not in the past relationship with the nine of wands in the reverse you have given up 100 percent. you are giving up on that connection mm -mm. you've already closed out a cycle that in the past caused you a lot of grief a lot of pain a lot of anxiety and you're done with it you are done with it and you will never when i say never ever allow this person to come back into your life and screw you over ever again you are in a balanced situation right now you are in a harmonious connection right now you're in a good place okay and you are not going to allow anyone to come in here and destroy that for you four of pentacles in the reverse you have released the past and you've moved on you have moved on already with the justice here i feel that for a lot of you guys um you're going to be very truthful to this person and you're going to tell them when they do reach out because they will be reaching out you're going to tell them clearly i don't want nothing to do with you i'm done with this i've already closed out this chapter and i've moved on as a matter of fact i'm in a higher level commitment now and i will not release my current relationship to go back to you there's no way in hell there is no amount of money there is no amount of flowers begging crying there is no amount of anything that would allow me to ever go back to the place that you had me in the past i'm done with you wow all righty i hope you guys um Cancer, I hope this reading gave you some clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. You guys have a good one. Bye.